You cannot cheat an honest man. Somebody once told me that you cannot cheat an honest man. A man who is truly honest to himself and others. A man with a pure mind. No matter what trick you try to play on him. No matter what con you build up in front of his eyes. He will be able to see right through it. Because it is not a part of his world. Not a part of his honest reality. A reality that does not take life for granted. A reality without wishful thinking in the sense of putting his or her trust in another one's arms. A reality that knows its own strength and its own validity, which does not depend on someone else's yes or no. Don't get me wrong, we are humans and we can only live happily when we live together in a community or in a partnership and not in solitude. But that does not mean that you depend on someone else's opinion or give over the power over your life to someone or something else. Whether it be a person or a form of government, you are a leader. Every human being is a leader. We are the leaders of our own fate. And somebody truly honest knows true life. Only he can truly enjoy the reality he creates. Only he can enjoy honest love. And therefore, no one can save you but you. You can cheat everyone else if you want. Your boss, your teacher, your spouse, your parents. But in the end, you only cheat yourself. And you are the fool. That is why I tell you, live an honest life, a proud life, a life of a tiger. A tiger takes responsibility for each of his actions. And that is why we humans admire and fear them at the same time, because they have an unwavering will, an unheard of bravery, and a beautiful, graceful, and strong way of carrying themselves. A tiger will never experience shame, because it lives honest and truthful to its being. A tiger is always a tiger, even when it does not know it is being watched. But how do you behave when somebody is watching? Are you being truly honest to yourself? To the idea of yourself that you keep in your heart and mind? When you are under peer pressure, or when you are with your family, or with your boss? Or how do you behave when no one is watching? If you live an honest life, you don't need to impress because you are always the ideal. Your ideal. Nobody should tell you what that should look like, for it varies from person to person, and everybody is different, and has a different outlook on life. That is why we can never judge that is why we should not give the power over taking decisions for ourselves to anyone else but ourselves. Maybe take every new start to life. With which I mean, every time you wake up, every time you are reborn. To contemplate and meditate about if you are someone that you yourself can respect. Every new day is a new beginning, a new chance to live life may be a little bit better than the day before. A chance to be a little bit kinder to the people around you. A chance to make better use of yourself in trying to help somebody who is struggling. For we are all struggling in one way or another. We are all passengers on the same ship. A ship with an unknown harbor. Because nobody knows what happens in the end. We all experience the same kind of fear. Like children, we don't know what is going to happen to us. But there is something inside and around of us that can guide us. Some mysterious power that can take us on a beautiful journey through storms, sunshine and rain. Something that we all have inside. Something that we cannot see but only feel. Something that tells us what is wrong and what is right. 
something that can teach us to be honest with others, and more importantly, with ourselves. The fooled one always knows that something is wrong, always feels it deep inside, but is too afraid to open his mind, to look life straight in the eye and say, hey, I am the captain of this ship, and I can see the storm right in front of me. So I decide to change course. I decide to sail in another direction, so the storm cannot harm me in any way. This means being open-eyed on the inside, listening to your gut and accepting your own strength and responsibility. Do not lie to yourself. Do not sugarcoat something you don't like so you are able to swallow it. Be honest with yourself and then you will be able to feel the right things for yourself, the right people for yourself, the right circumstances for yourself. Because every time you help someone, you help yourself. And every time you hurt someone, you hurt yourself. So think twice about what your life will be. Is it going to be your life? Or will it be someone else's and you will feel you are in the wrong skin every moment of your life? Unable to escape this house of cards that you build around yourself and for which you blame others and anyone beside yourself. And yes, everyone you met in your life helped you build it. They carried the stones and the building blocks. Maybe they even laid brick after brick after brick. But in the end, there was only one architect. But just as a house of cards can be destroyed in a blink of an eye, so can you rid yourself of that situation in life you don't want to be in. By just creating a new self-awareness towards life where you take responsibility for every action and decision you make and accept that you are the author of this story and within doing so you will become truly honest the most beautiful things in life are the simple things because they are so clear to see and they don't hide anything don't withhold any part of their being so be not afraid of expressing yourself. Be not ashamed of your feelings because they guide you, they lead you, and they show you the way. If you feel something in life you don't like, then just change your feeling and your life will change also. This is what it means to be truly honest with yourself. Accepting this power and using it only with good intentions and without harming or hurting others they say, every judgment you have made in your life, you will experience yourself at some point. So don't judge, because life is like a boomerang. And everything you throw out in form of thoughts, feelings and actions will come back sometime. Maybe immediately, maybe after only many moons have passed. But be certain that in one way or another, it will come back. So be grateful for every new day that unfolds, for you can become someone better every day of your life. You can come closer every day to that ideal person who you would like to be. You can be reborn every day. When nothing and no one can harm you, when no event can unsettle you, when even wild beasts won't dare to approach you for your wholeness, for the true life inside of you, then you will have mastered perfection. And it is all mastered from inside, all from your mind, all from your feelings and thoughts. So take your time every day to shy away from technology, to let go of your smartphone, to be on your own for some minutes, so you can recollect your emotions. Look inward and smile, knowing that only you are your leader and therefore setting the sails of your ship again in the right direction. In the direction that you want to sail, getting back to your course. And suddenly the weight on your shoulders will have dropped again. Your steps will be graceful and light. Your mood will be relaxed and joyful. Because you will remember again 
You will remember your honesty. You will remember your responsibility and that everything lies in your mind. So listen to it and meditate every morning or evening or whenever you have your peace of mind or time to get away from life. We all can find at least 10 minutes a day to recollect and set our feelings again according to our inner clock, our inner dream. Because the more you truly and consciously dream, the less you will be asleep. Only that way you can experience the true meaning of life. Only that way you can wake up.